to the top of the world, one scientist's expedition to the North Pole. The journey began in Dutch Harbor, Alaska, where I and 50 other scientists, along with 93 crew members, loaded our gear and supplies into the Coast Guard Cutter Healy. My name is Allison Agather. I'm a PhD student at Wright State, and I just returned from a two-month-long expedition where I studied mercury in the Arctic Ocean, and I got to visit the North Pole. So Caitlin and I are part of kind of the mercury team. It was important for us to do this cruise now to understand why there's so much mercury in the Arctic, where it's coming from, because things in the Arctic are changing really quickly and they're changing right now and we want to understand if that's going to be good or bad in terms of how much mercury is up there. So anything from seawater to ice to DNA was collected on this cruise. The rosette collects water from different depths in long plastic bottles. So we're trying to understand kind of the biology side of how methyl mercury is made in the Arctic Ocean. There's like a gradual evolution of the ice so we kind of had open water and then you can see little chunks of ice floating around and then you start seeing some bigger chunks until we eventually were in a solid ice pack just breaking through ice. One day we saw a herd of walruses lounging on the ice floes. Then we began to see polar bears. They're really beautiful curious creatures. It just reminds me that I'm really lucky to be at a university that really supports this kind of project and this science and and that's really important. We brought back with us over 3,000 samples of Arctic seawater, ice, and snow. So the book is called To the Top of the World, and I was able to write this from my perspective. So we want young kids to see a young girl that is a scientist, because we get to do really cool things. I think some kids think that scientists are just these, you know, n nerdy guys in white lab coats with thick glasses, um, but we get to do cool stuff like going to the North Pole, too. So we want to show kids that.